Welcome back again. In this session, we're going to talk about image views. This is an outlet that helps us show images or icons in different parts of our application. I'm going to head into Xcode. Here in Xcode, I'm going to go ahead and say create new Xcode project. I'm going to go ahead and say it is called uh, image views. And once my image views is loaded, I want to first show you the two images that I want to have. In here, I have two images. One of them is called a dog.png. The other one is called a flower.png. Uh, both images that I have are PNG, but that doesn't really matter. You can use PNGs, JPGs, or other formats. So what you want to have for this project is you want to find yourself uh, a few images, basically. doesn't matter from online, from your own images, or anything like that. So I have the two images. I'm actually going to put them on a the corner, and then I'm going to load up my Xcode again. Then I'm going to select the two of these and I'm going to drag them over and drop them in my project. So when you drop them, it actually asks you, do you want to copy these items? And I'm going to say yes, because I want them to be within my project. Uh, what I mean by that is that if I select one of these files now and go to the finder for it, you will see that all of those files are together within one project you know resource basically in my image views project i have the images of the dog and the flower as well as all of my other files and that's something that's quite important making sure all the resources for any project that you work on are in the same place so in any case i have my usual stuff such as my storyboard and my view controller and i have a few images that they have been added in here and now we want to head into our storyboard in here i want to make myself an image view so i'm going to search for an image view i'm going to drag it drop it in here and this image view i'm going to put it in there and then i can assign an image to it let's go ahead and say the image we assign to it is this one the flower image it basically loads all of the images from your project i'm going to say the flower image is in there and then when you apply it in there, it's going to actually have to try to somehow fit your image within the size of your image view. Let me make this a little bit different so you can see what I mean. So if my image view was like this, then it had to actually find a way to fit the image uh, within that image view. And that's got to do with the content mode. Uh, the current one or the default one is the aspect fit. You can go to situations such as aspect fill, which basically means maintain the aspect ratio, but try to fill the screen, which is kind of usually my preferred way of doing things. Again, depending on uh, what I'm doing, uh, the other ways in here, such as center it or basically uh, align it to top, bottom, left, right, or any of those. I leave that to you to try to find the one that really works for you. For me, aspect fill was the right answer in here. And obviously, if we run our application now, when our simulator loads up, uh, we should be able to see our flower image uh, somewhere in our application. Uh, however, this was doing it manually. So we went into our user interface and we actually added the flower in there. That would be very similar to a situation like this, that I would have a label in here and I would go in here manually say this is a, this is a flower. What if, if I wanted to actually change these images uh, using programmatic approaches? What if I wanted to press a button and change the image? And that's exactly what we are going to do in here. I'm going to actually go ahead and make myself a button. That button, I'm going to drop it in here at the bottom of the flower. And the button basically has a different background color. And it says this, it says change image. So basically when we press this button, we want to make sure that the, the image that is within the image view will change to a different image. In my case, it will change to the dog picture. So that's what we are trying to do. So because of that, I need to get two outlets in here uh, or rather two connections in here. One of them is the function for the button. So we know which function runs. The other one is the actual outlet for the image view. So let's go ahead and do uh, both of these things. I'm going to get myself an assisted uh, you know, a window. I'm going to go to my view controller. Let's get rid of these extra windows. So I have a little bit more space. Here, I want to get rid of all of those extra code. Here, the very first thing is I want to get this as an outlet. So my image view, I drop it in here. 
and I actually call it my image view or anything that you know you want to call it as long as it's meaningful so my image view becomes of the type UI image view which is exactly what we were expecting to happen the next thing is the function for change image so I'm going to drop this in here and it says do you want to make an outlet I'm gonna say no I actually want to make an action and the action is change image so that's pretty much it I have now access to my outlet I have access to my function and I can start writing the code for it so let's go ahead and see how we're going to do that I'm going to go to my code now in order to set the image of my image view I have to go ahead and say my image view dot image and then here is something interesting that happens it says the image of an image view is an object of the type UI image. What does that mean? Let me explain that to you in a slightly different sense. And that is this. Imagine if we had a label. Oh, you know, I don't have it, so I'm just going to write it in comments. Let's say I had something called my label. And then from my label, I wanted to get the text value of it. As you can imagine, the text value of it had to become a string. And that is how we actually make strings. We say, the string in here was uh, this is uh, new for instance or anything like that so the type that is text would require a string in front of it and the type that is an image would require a UI image in front of it a UI image is not your JPG file is actually a type of uh, class or a type of object that takes in a JPG or a PNG file and can adapt it for UI image views. So that's all the theory of it. Let's see how we actually make this work. I'm going to come in here and say my image view that image becomes a UI image. And then there's so many different ways of making a UI image. The one I care about is called the named. So it says, well, what's the name of the UI image that you want to use? And keep in mind that that UI image should exist somewhere in here. If it doesn't, then obviously it's not going to find it. I'm going to say the name of it is dog.png. So basically, whenever I press the button, you go to change the image of my image view to a new UI image that is built from that PNG file. And that pretty much, you know, uh, settles it. If I go ahead and I run my application now, I should be able to press the button and change this into the dog's image. And that's exactly what we wanted to see. So very simple lesson, a quick recap of it. You make an image view in here for the image views. You can directly apply your images to it, or you can go to your code, get access to your outlet. And for your outlet, you can say that the image for that image view outlet is a UI image that you built with the name of your file. The file is the actual uh, file, such as a JPG or a PNG file. So that's pretty much it. Let's keep it up to here. Let's move on to our next lesson where we learn how to make a switch in, uh, in iOS.